brings to your attention the test and repair kit for piezo injectors and a piezo pack by Siemens. The kit includes pneumatic valve opening control system of the injector, set of adapters, a detecting head, spanners for disassembly and assembly of the injectors and a Christina piezo controller. The device has the following functions. Input controls for piezo injectors, creation of the desired signal for activating the piezo injector and for its work on the manual press. Characterization of the injector for its subsequent correct assembly and adjustment, namely measuring resistance and capacity of the piezo pack, measuring resistance of the insulation, measuring smooth progress of the piezo pack. Running the device is carried out by using the buttons located on the front panel of the device. The Select Test button, Mode Selection, the Start-Stop button, Starting and Stopping the Test, the Mode buttons, Voltage Selection, Selection of pulse duration and frequency. Selection of the number of cycles. Potentiometer, UV for smooth adjustment of voltage. The injector actuation connector, for connecting cable adapters to activate the injectors on the manual pump. The injector measure connector, for connecting to a piezoelectric injector part and for supplying various signals to the piezo pack to measure its parameters. The grounding jack for connecting the earth cable when testing the piezo pack for a short circuit in the injector housing. The power switch, switching the device on and off. The side panel of the device has the following connectors. Network and USB connection socket for a PC. The device menu has four basic modes. Activation, activation mode of the manual press. Resistance, resistance test mode of the piezo pack. Insulation, insulation test mode of the piezo pack. Controlled actuation, monitored start. The device's operation in the activation mode, activation of the injector on the manual press. When testing in this mode, the injector's connection cable must be installed into the injector actuation jack and the injector must be connected and installed on the manual press. Next, by using the mode 1, mode 4 buttons, we set the required voltage parameters, 50 volts to 150 volts. Pulse duration, 0.5 microseconds to 2.5 microseconds. Pulse frequency, 0.5 seconds to 5 seconds, and the number of cycles, 1 to 150. Next, we create the desired pressure on the manual press and activate the start-stop button. We control the spray torch during injection. The device is operation in the resistance mode, testing resistance. An information message, shorting, will appear on the display, reporting on the piezo element's short circuit and its discharge. When scanning in this mode, the injector's connection cable must be installed into the injector measure jack, this mode can be used both with the assembled injectors and with the removed piezo packs. After discharge, we measure resistance and control voltage and amperage. The piezo pack is supplied with a voltage U of 100 volts, and we control resistance R, kilo ohm, and amperage I, milliamps. To finish testing, we press the start-stop button. The simulator automatically launches the piezo pack's discharge mode. The device is operation in the insulation mode, testing insulation. When testing in this mode, the injector's connection cable must be installed in the injector measure jack, and the high-voltage cable must be installed in the grounding jack and connected to the injector housing with a clip. We select this mode by pressing the Select Test button and activated by the Start-Stop button. Next, the device switches to the test mode, where the insulation resistance R, milliohm, with voltage as high as 137 volts. Normal breakdown resistance to chassis surpasses 100 milliohm. To finish testing, click the Start-Stop and the simulator will automatically start the discharge mode of the piezo pack. Operation of the device in the controlled actuation mode, monitored start. When testing in this mode, the injector's connection cable must be installed into the injector measure jack. The injector is installed in the clamp holder and connected to the pneumatic valve opening control system. The gearbox selects the desired pressure and then the tap is transferred into open position. On the device, we select the controlled actuation mode. An information message, shorting, will appear on the display, reporting on the piezo element's short circuit and its discharge, with a preset time of 3 seconds. With the potentiometer, we set the minimum voltage, 40 volts. After supplying the signal to the injector, we control the flow meter's readings. This mode is used both with the assembled injectors and with the removed piezo packs, when using the adapter and the detecting head. The device allows smooth activation of the piezo pack by changing voltage when using the potentiometer in the range from 40 volts to 150 volts with amperage control. Meanwhile, the piezo element smoothly changes dimensions depending on voltage. Then there is an opportunity to supervise the pack's operation with an accuracy of 2 microns, as well as to determine the moment of opening of the injector valve and its maximum operating range. 
Having finished testing, the simulator automatically launches the Piezo Pax Discharge Mode. More detailed information is available from us or from our dealers. www.dieseltest.com